Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing what's your love life like in 2020. So we have the crystals here. We have group number one with selenite, group number two with rose quartz, group number three with apophyllite, and group number four with desert rose. So let's get started. Hello group number one, let's get started with your reading. So we have the gorgeous selenite tower. I love the selenite tower so much. It's so, so pretty. It's gorgeous for channeling, for kind of getting into those spiritual entities. We have a very loud playing going over. <laughs> That's another spiritual entity. Um, <laughs> that was a joke. Okay, so let's get started with what's your love life going to be like in 2020. We have higher consciousness, harmony, speak your truth, unfolding. I'm getting so hot. Ooh, getting so hot. We also have you are never alone, three of pentacles. Six of Wands, Eight of Swords, High Priestess, Chariot, and we also have Strength. This challenge will make you stronger. You will get through to the other side. Look for the gifts in the situation. Okay, so if anything feels a bit rough right now, this is the main energy of 2020. This isn't to say that you are going to go through something that's going to cause you a lot of pain and a lot of discomfort. This is basically showing me that you have gone through a lot of pain and discomfort. And if your love life has felt very almost dismal, very kind of stressful, and you felt very angry during the process, I do sense this is going to change. I do, I'm very much connecting with the colour purple and the colour black. So if you like those colours or you really resonate with those colours, I really am sensing that that's a very strong indication that you're going to get through this, you're going to get to the other side, and you are going to benefit from this situation that you're in right now, okay? Um, and I do sense that because you've been strong, the universe is going to gift you with a lover or a very good love life, depending on if you're single or in a relationship, wherever you uh, are wanting. So we have the Otter Spirit, you are never alone. So what this is basically showing me is that you guys are really going to be in the element of love this year. I feel like you are a very romantic person and I do sense that you are going to get this type of romance. It just feels really, really just soft and beautiful and it just feels very like ha ah, like very like harmonious okay so i really feel like it's just like very flowy and just really really nice and i really like this this card really shows me that this group is definitely going to get a really good love life because this card only pops up now and again and it normally pops up in love readings okay and that's really really good also speaking of high consciousness and spirits <laughs> Um, we have the high consciousness card. So this is talking about um, your your intuition is going to be very, very high. And this is also going to help you to get in touch with your spiritual side. The more you love yourself and the more harmonious you um, are with your love life, the more you approach it with a gentle heart, the more you approach it with um, ease and love, the better that your love life is going to be. We also have number six of harmony, which is really funny because we also have number six with the otter spirit because this is 42, which is four and two is six. And then we have six with harmony. This is basically showing me that you are going to get ultimate harmonious love life. It just feels very soft, very gentle, really easy. It doesn't feel like really, really stressful. Okay. We also have speak your truth with unfolding. So the more you speak your truth with your words and kind of telling people how you really feel instead of being like, oh, yeah okay I'll do that but you're thinking I don't actually want to do it or saying yes or no in the wrong situation okay when you actually feel the opposite way we have unfolding and speak your truth so what this is basically showing me is that the more you speak your truth the more things are going to unravel the more you're most authentic to yourself the more things are going to feel much more calmer more smoother and I love this unfolding card because it's like a spiral so everything is kind of coming into alignment you know it's kind of like everything that you've wished for is coming full circle and you're basically going to gain the gifts that you really really want with this speak your truth i really feel like this is a very very feminine card okay if you are not a female or you don't associate as a feminine it doesn't mean it doesn't apply to you but i do sense there's an element of feminine energy obviously we have feminine and masculine energy this just really speaks to the feminine side i do sense this is a lot to do with sexuality Obviously, if you are under 16 or 18, this probably will not resonate with you or just click away from this part, <laughs> mute it, I don't know. But this basically showed me a lot about um, sexuality and intimacy. 
and if you've had trouble kind of speaking your truth about feeling um a sexual person you're like oh it's something i have to hide it's something i have to hide away it's something that is too almost taboo you know and i do this because it's not taboo it's very very natural obviously because we're all born through intimacy so it really shows me that it's almost an element of being free in your sexuality and expressing that and it's expressing that feminine part of you that wants to I'm getting the word procreate so if you want to have children I do see that happening for you guys um, and also the element of sex it's, it's basically saying that it's okay to have sex and it's a very natural part of life and you shouldn't feel bad for wanting that you shouldn't feel bad for wanting a physical touch from a human being even if it's not the element of sex it's, it's just intimacy it's hugging it's touching physical touch and all that sort of stuff it's like you are allowed to have that you know <clears throat> and i'm coughing because i'm speaking my truth girl i'm speaking my truth so i love this because this is showing me that you're basically coming into a really gorgeous feminine energy that you've been craving for such a long time and i feel like especially with this speak your truth and especially with this gorgeous feminine energy it's showing me that you're this feminine side that's needed to come up is brewing and it's starting to like come out so if you're feeling a little bit unsettled with what how you feel about possibly you're changing who you are actually attracted to maybe you're attracted to males and now you're starting to be attracted to females or you're you're becoming more comfortable with sexuality whereas before you were not comfortable and you're like this is strange you know so if you feel like things are a little bit uncomfortable in terms of intimacy or just becoming comfortable with um, relationships and becoming intimate with somebody, whether that's just speaking your truth and loving somebody, if that's scary as well. This is just a cl uh, clarification that everything's gonna be fine, okay? Everything's gonna be fine. This is so random, but I just got the word clogs. And I know they're um, those weird little wooden shoes. I have no idea why I got those. <laughs> Maybe things have felt like heavy, I don't know. <laughs> but that's kind of what I am feeling. So. With the Three of Pentacles and the Six of Wands, it's showing me that possibly you're gonna meet somebody who's a co-worker or somebody you've met through work. And this is somebody who you are basically gonna go from work to a relationship, you know? And I feel like it's an element of, oh, we've always been like this certain way. We've always been colleagues or we've always been friends on a basis that isn't a romantic relationship and I do feel that changing. You may feel like it's going to completely mess up the friendship, I don't see that at all. Um, you may feel scared to kind of approach this person, I'm burping again because I'm speaking my truth, <laughs> this is you speaking your truth to this person, this is you telling this person how you really feel and I know you guys will do this if you sense this person has these feelings for you as well. I don't see you doing this if you think oh they don't really feel this way but I want to tell them. I don't I see it being more like I know this person has fears for me we've been, we've been flirting back and forth um if this isn't going to be somebody that you already know I do sense this is going to be somebody you're going to meet through work or it's going to be a place where it's going to have a lot of community energy it could be um in a charity it could be um in a group setting in a meeting it doesn't have to be work it can just be in a group setting where there's people so it doesn't even have to be like a club it can literally be like a nt, nt, nt club you know <laughs> i literally always explain it like that but that's how i explain it nt, nt, you know like music club you know like drinking and stuff <laughs> you, you can tell i don't go clubbing can't you yeah yeah okay i'm making it very very obvious here so we have the high priestess and we also have high consciousness both of these are extremely similar you know they're pretty much the same card it's basically showing me that your your intuition, as I say, is going to be very, very high. So you're going to notice this person when they come along. They're not going to be a sort of... So, uh, words, Vicky. They're not going to be the sort of person that's going to be like, oh, you know. <clears throat> exactly. Exactly. Um, it's going to be... It's not going to be the sort of person that's going to be, like, really flaky. It's, going to be, it's not going to be somebody who's going to be, like, you know, giving you mixed signals. You're going to know who this person is and they're going to make the effort for you 100%, okay? And this is probably going to be a cancer sign. I'm getting cancer se uh, cancerian. I'm getting an air sign. I'm also getting fire. Okay, I'm actually getting all the signs, guys. But specifically, I'm going to just pick a few signs. I'm getting intuitively. Um, cancerian, Aries, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Scorpio, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. So that's all the ones I'm feeling. That's what I'm seeing. Is there anything else that needs to come through? My hand is shaking, I don't know why. Maybe you guys are gonna be really nervous when you meet this person. I feel like you're unfolding as well, like your energy is just doing this 
and you're starting to become more vulnerable but in a really good way but yeah you guys are really going to be in your feminine energy which is absolutely gorgeous as i say if you're a male every person has feminine and male energy i just feel like the way you have loved before is going to be so much easier to love in this year okay so you may have felt like that your energy has been wasted you've loved the wrong the wrong people the wrong people they're never the wrong people obviously we learn from everyone but you've never fully loved in a way that you've wanted to i feel like you've never been able to express yourself in a way that's very authentic and it's almost like this person you're going to meet is going to be so authentic and so natural to you you're going to be completely flooded with just emotion and gorgeous it feels like sustainable energy it doesn't feel like an energy of like i'm not hearing reaping the rewards i'm feeling like it's not that it's not like i've you know it's been awful and you know i deserve this it's almost like we the universe knows you deserve this and it's definitely going to bring this towards you whatever this means to you whether you're going to be in a relationship or you're already in a relationship and it's going to become more harmonious I just feel like the balance is coming in and you're going to love in a much easier way. It's, the love is not, okay, that's what they're telling me. It's not going to be challenging. This love is not going to be challenging. Maybe it's been challenging before. And for some of you guys, I'm definitely feeling that some of you have children, okay? This is only for a specific few of you, but some of you have children with a baby daddy and you're not with this 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 person anymore, okay? And I'm seeing that you have been single for quite a long time um, and you have children and it almost feels like there was an energy of like trying to do this like pushing and pulling like almost like a tug of war situation in your relationship I definitely feel like definitely for you guys who are like single mums I'm really feeling that that energy this is really going to resonate with you I feel like because it's almost like you've been tugging because you feel like you had to be with this person because they were your, your child's father that's what I'm feeling as for some of you guys but you don't have to do that anymore guys you're gonna you're gonna have somebody who's gonna really really appreciate you it just feels so harmonious you know it just feels like i appreciate myself and therefore i deserve somebody who appreciates me you know it's not like codependent where it's like i need someone i feel like obviously we all need somebody but it's it's an element of i know that i deserve it so i'm gonna get it you know it's like okay so thank you for watching guys if this resonated with you don't forget to comment down below subscribe click that bell notification so you get notifications when i upload and go on lives i do lives quite a few times um i do lives at probably at least like once a month if not then you know i do them randomly but i will let you guys know on the community tab and on instagram if you want to follow me my instagram is down below and all my private reading rates are down below so if you'd like a reading all the information is down below I'll speak to you very soon. Thank you for being here. Bye. Hello, girl number two. Let's get started with your reading. We've got the gorgeous rose quartz. I love this. It's so, so pretty. This is literally about love, rose quartz, unconditional love, harmony, loving yourself. You know, my hands look really big. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know. I'm very, very random today. So we have self-reliant, ancestral support, joy, explore, let it shine, peacock spirit, support, ask for help, get more rest, nurture yourself. We also have the moon in reverse, the three of swords and the six of wands. Okay, let's have a look and see what we've got here. Your journey has been a lot about becoming self-reliant. And this doesn't mean that you're going to be single forever, okay? This is basically meaning that you're self-reliant, you can rely on yourself and you don't need anyone. Like specifically, they're saying need because you already have yourself so you are probably going to possibly okay is this group going to have a partner yes um so if you are single and you're looking for love this is this is the group you know if you're not that's completely fine but just to clarify for those single you are going to find them. i feel like you have been looking around for somebody who really really suits you and you haven't found that person yet i feel like it's been a struggle I feel like you've almost closed your heart off like you're doing this because she's kind of doing that you know um, and I feel like you have had to do that I feel like you are needing to rely on yourself and I feel like you've been forced to rely on yourself because you've possibly been around the wrong people and therefore they've gone out your life and now you're basically working on yourself and in terms of this peacock spirit let it shine it's all about you being authentic and not stopping yourself from being closed off i really feel like this group is quite closed off and i feel like you're learning to not be like that any, uh, anymore you know what's really important for you is to ask for help and ask for support um it's really really important for you to have that 
connection with people whether that be a friend or a romantic partner that you can really talk to and literally ask for help whereas before I don't think you have been able to do that and there's so much more joy coming in for this year I feel like you're going to have a lot more joy you're going to be exploring more about your love life okay so I feel like for you guys your love life's probably been quite slow it's been quite distant I'm hearing the word distant feels like things are so far away where when are they coming in I'm hearing so with this explore card I'm also seeing that like the middle is almost like a compass I'm really seeing that so I feel like you your person and you are going to be divinely guided to meet each other and basically for those of you who are in relationships or you're possibly not looking for love at the moment I do see that you guys are working on your third eye as well and I feel like you guys are becoming more connected to spirit and connected with your most authentic self and this is really random but I just saw like a energy outside I've got like a window in front of me and it goes out to my garden and I just saw like a spirit of like a, a boy and he had like he's like a small boy he kind of looked like a man but like a miniature man so yeah I guess like a boy but he looked like a miniature man but I couldn't tell anyway he was male a small male person and he was wearing a white shirt and black trousers and I've got a feeling this is a child so it's just probably a child spirit around you guys trying to help you to connect with your inner child um and they're telling me that they're leading the way so things feel a bit like this confusing and intertwined and kind of just blech, just a mess this person's going to help you help to guide you through the mess okay hopefully that makes sense so things have been very very confusing but i do feel like you are coming out of that you're starting to realize okay what really fulfills me what makes me feel safe and things have been possibly quite turbulent for you in terms of your love life They've been very kind of like, I'm hearing the word boisterous, they've been like this, where you've kind of not been able to connect with your, your actual feminine energy. It hasn't been very soft, very light. It's been very rocky and just hard. So you're actually moving away from that and you're moving into something that suits you so much better, that's much more on your level, that's much more your energy. And I really feel like the ancestors are with you. You know, they're helping you to open your heart chakra. And they're supporting you in opening your heart chakra and they're saying it's safe, it's okay. And the more self-reliant you are, the more you go into your own energy and you don't rely on anyone else in terms of a love relationship or romantic relationship. I do sense that this is going to come in for you guys, okay? This is really, really coming in for you guys. And I'm obviously not saying that you can't rely on people because this is basically telling you that you can. Um, but it's not saying that if you rely on somebody that you're codependent, you know, that's not basically the way it is. Self-reliant they're showing me is that you can cope on your own and you can do things by yourself, you know, whether that's supporting your own energy, supporting your emotions. Um, yeah, and just understanding how you work and understanding how your own emotions work in your body and what feels good for you and not for other people, you know, it's focusing on yourself and what feels good for you. And not ignoring your emotions. I don't feel like you're ignoring your emotions. I feel like before you possibly could have been doing that. Or the opposite. It could have just been feeling very, very emotional. So I do sense that that's changing. And you're understanding your emotions a lot better. And therefore, now you understand your emotions, somebody else is going to understand them also. I hope that resonated for you guys. If you'd like to, please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to uh, click that bell notification to get notified when I do lives and upload. And thank you so much for watching. Comment down below if this resonated. If you didn't, then just let it fly. I'll choose another group. And I'll speak to you very soon. Bye. Hello, group number three. Let's get started with your reading. So we have the Crystal Apophyllite, which is really, really gorgeous. I love it. It's so, so pretty. If you've ever seen Apophyllite, this is what it looks like. It's so stunning. I don't know if you can actually see that. It's focusing or not. But I absolutely love it. It's just so stunning. Really, really good for, you, for opening your third eye and your crown chakra doing this like, <laughs> opening your third eye and crown chakra so we have financial flow gratitude restriction and trust a lot of pink cards which is really really good we also have mouse spirit tend to the small things innocence take time to play nurture your inner child live with a childlike sense of wonder we have the four of cups king of cups the tower seven of swords page of wands and we also have the ten of swords so wow I love this group. This feels really, really good. This is massive amounts of change here. Um, if you guys are wanting a relationship, there is definitely a partner coming in, most likely a water sign or just somebody who's extremely mature and somebody who just knows their shizzle. 
okay no they're shit <laughs> they're somebody who knows how to nurture you and knows how to nurture themselves and therefore they know to nurture you in a way that's going to really really suit you okay so for you guys they're basically telling me to tend to the small things okay basically to look after the part of you okay this is a bit intense but i'm hearing look after the part of you that's screaming out for love you know the part of you that's like I, I want love i want to be nurtured and i really really feel like this is going to come in for you okay guys i really feel like it's really important to look out for the simple things and care for yourself on a very simple level so i went in terms of tending to the small things when you tend to the small things in your life whether it be whatever you think it is so it could be meditation you could think that's quite a small thing where it's actually very big um, the more you tend to the things that really suit you and are organi organically yours and feel good for you, the more this is going to come in so much more smoothly. You know, you don't have to make a massive impact for this to happen. I really feel like you guys are very much connecting to your inner child because we have the mouse spirit, which is a very, very small animal and can be classed as almost like the child part of you. And we also have innocence, which is you guys learning to accept yourself and learning to play and be very um nurtured nurturing yourself nurturing yourself so i do feel like once this person comes in or once your love life uh picks up i do sense that your financial flow is going to be very very good i also sense your financial flow is going to be good when this person is here as well so your financial flow could almost start to pick up just before you meet this person it could also mean that this person that you're connecting to is very very wealthy okay okay <laughs> so this person's going to really really love you they're going to feel very grateful for you and it's not going to feel restrictive this love is not restrictive okay so you may have had a love that's very restrictive very bound by four walls in terms of like people saying you can't go there you can't do this um i i don't want to hang out with your friends all that sort of stuff that restricts you to a box and i also feel like you guys once you go into something that really suits you in terms of your life path or your job i really feel like you're going to meet this person because you're authentically going down the path that suits you and is made for you okay so whatever you're good at i really feel like you're connecting with that and basically this as i say it's not going to be so much restriction anymore i don't feel like it's going to be as much restriction with your money either you're going to feel much more happier with where you're at and it's almost you need to trust what's happening okay guys you need to know that your inner compass is going to send you to the right places your heart is going to send you to the right places and the universe is guiding you where you're meant to be going you don't have to push and pull and try hard i don't know what the word is what's the word it's just like a raw energy where you're basically trying to pull things apart and just push things i don't feel like that's going to happen this person is coming in when it's the right time for you so for some of you guys you may feel like this is never going to happen because this guy has pretty much shown me that it's like, okay, but there's no offers, so when is it going to happen? And for you guys who are single or for you guys who want uh, your relationship to be more um, compassionate and more and less restricting, I do sense, you guys, that for some of you, if you feel like your relationship is very restricting, I do feel like that for some of you, you may actually end up um, breaking apart and coming together again. That can also be for friendships also. And it's trusting that you're making the right decision for yourself, whatever that is, whether that's staying single until the right person comes along, just nurturing yourself until you feel fulfilled, okay? And it's knowing that the more you nurture yourself, the more this person is going to come in and the more you're going to be on that vibration, okay? And I'm also getting really hot, so that's obviously a good thing <laughs> that I'm picking up here. So what's happening is we also have the King of Cups. So this is basically showing me that this person, as I say, is going to be very mature, it's going to nurture you really, really well, and they're going to be very, very communicative. Their communication is going to be really, really good, and they're possibly going to be a water sign. I'm also seeing fire sign and air as well. I'm not really feeling earth for this group. Could be an earth sign, but I'm not really feeling that. doesn't have to be, you know, whatever resonates with you. So we have the tower, and I placed the ten of swords next to the tower, which is really interesting. So it's basically showing me that when you end this old cycle boom new shit comes in okay and it's going to be ending restriction is ending i'm hearing disillusion what else am i hearing tell me what else this card represents i'm hearing being mugged off <laughs> being people being deceitful people being i'm hearing disgraceful people treating you like crap like dirt basically the end of that that's not going to happen anymore you're moving away from that and you're moving towards something that's much more passionate and much more free for you. You're not going to feel like you're in a box anymore. This is going to be somebody who's going to make you feel like really free. 
and really really comfortable it's going to be a very innocent relationship as well i feel like for some of you guys this could actually be your first relationship it could feel like your first relationship you know because possibly you've had a relationship that felt very gritty very kind of like grinding on you and now like you know when you put like two stones together and you rub them together and like grinds it, it's not going to feel like that it's going to feel really smooth the boundaries are going to be really well there so also with this financial flow for some reason I've got financial flow and boundaries so possibly the more you set boundaries in your finances whether that be a certain job that you want quitting a certain job that you don't like is setting boundaries with yourself the more you do that the more this person is going to come in because you're setting boundaries for yourself and therefore this person when they come in they're going to their boundaries are going to be very high your boundaries are going to be high and then you're both going to ma match on a really good level and therefore you both it's going to both going to be a very very healthy relationship i do feel like this person is going to tend to the small things with you as well which it basically means that they're going to see things in you that you possibly have never seen i feel like it's also about like self-love i do feel like you're going to have a lot of self-love for yourself when you meet this person but they, they are going to like awaken a part of you that's been possibly lost for a long time i'm getting the words trust safety compassion uniqueness individuality it's a lot of emotions and a lot of clarifica uh, clarity that's going to happen that's going to kind of spark some sort of emotion within you that's going to be like whoa i never thought i could have this and you you're going to have it you're going to have it and it's also like i know you know you're deserving of it but you're like okay but when is it going to come in and it definitely is okay it's just going to be on the universe's divine timing and um that's annoying <laughs> but it's also good but it's also annoying so thank you so much for watching if you'd like to please subscribe to my channel um if you would like a private reading all my information is down below please click the bell notification if you would like to get notified when my readings uh, when my videos upload sorry and also when i do live videos that's it if you didn't like this reading or it didn't resonate then just choose another group or just let it fly and i'll see you very soon Bye. Hello, group number four. Let's get started to see what your love life is going to be like in 2020. So we have this gorgeous desert rose. I love this crystal. It's so pretty. It's one of my faves. It's made from water, sand, and air. Isn't that crazy? Water, sand, and wind. Like, blows my freaking mind off. Okay, so let's get started with your reading. Let's see what we have. We have rise of our problems, flow, oneness self-love rabbit spirit now is a lucky time i love that that's such a good card anger safely express your anger use anger as a positive force honor all your emotions as sacred goddess honor your divine feminine energy see your inner beauty love every part of you we have the two of two of swords sun card in reverse the four of swords and the three of three of cups so let's move these tarot cards down here so for you guys, I feel like a lot of you guys are really going to discover self-love in 2020 because you've really been working on yourself. This person's going to come in and it's almost just going to flow, okay? The energy is just going to flow and it's going to come in really, really nicely. I love how we've got a lot of purple. We have four, almost four purple cards that could add a little bit of pink as well in there. So all these are really like purpley and pink, which is really showing me that your, your heart is going to be really open. And you're going to feel like this isn't a big deal. You know, it isn't a big deal when this comes in because it's going to feel really, really comfortable. And obviously it's going to be a big deal because you really want this to happen. It also feels just very, very comfortable and very, very again, clean and crisp and new. But it's almost going to be like, why did I worry so much? You know, why did I worry if this person's going to come in? Why did I worry about my love life so much not working out? I do sense it is going to work out for you guys. You're going to feel like a really amazing goddess when this person comes in. You are also learning to be a goddess and learning to embrace your inner goddess, embrace the oneness that you have and to feel fulfilled on the inside. I also have the number seven, number four, eight, three, one and four. Yeah, we have four twice. With the flow, we have one and three, which is four. We have 44, which is eight, but I do feel like this is four also because it's four repeating. So if you guys are seeing those numbers a lot repeating, then that's an extra sign for you guys. Um, for a lot of you, well, for all of you here, you're rising by the problems that you feel like were massively weighing you down. They're not going to weigh you down for much longer once you go into 2020 and possibly a little bit before then, possibly at the end of December or middle of December. I really feel like you're going to rise by problems. And I also feel like the crystal amethyst is very, very good for you guys. So if you want to grab yourself some amethyst, wear it for a little while, see how you feel about it. I really do feel like that's a really good crystal for you guys. Um, it's essentially because we've got a lot of purple and I really feel like that's a really good energy for you to have. 
I feel like for some of you guys, you could have the uh, could have a purple aura. Um, and I'm sensing, I'm sensing that this is a lot to do with spirituality, and you're becoming more one with yourself and with spirit, and just listening to yourself. You know, listen to what feels good for you. And if you feel like you're having a hard time, I don't feel like you guys are hard on yourself. And if you are, this is a sign for you to to be really kind to yourself and say that it's okay. It may not happen at the right time. No, sorry, it may not happen at the time that I want. But it's going to happen, you know. It's going to happen at a time that is good for me. And it's going to suit me, you know. Because the universe don't play. The universe don't play around. <laughs> the universe knows, you know. So, uh, with wa ra rabbit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> with rabbit spirit, now is a lucky time. This is basically showing me that you guys are really, really, really going to have something that feels really good for you, okay. Your The time is now to have harmony within your love life it's a really really lucky time for you to have um a really gorgeous love life i feel like it's going to feel really really good for you and with this with this two of swords it could be the element of two options coming in but it could also be that you just are not sure on this person because you feel like they may be a little bit righteous they may be a little bit um what's the word kind of a little bit vain but that's not actually a bad thing because they're showing me that they may act like that but they're actually very very genuine you just may be a little bit confused <laughs> uh, i feel like they have this very kind of open leo energy that basically is kind of almost like showing off but you're going to be you're going to think about it you're going to think okay well is this the person you know not and that's not obviously going to apply to every one of you this person's very confident it could also cause you to feel very uncomfortable with this person because you may feel like okay am i good enough this person am i confident enough because they seem very confident outgoing um possibly you know just extremely confident in their own skin you're like oh i don't know but actually they're going to be really really good for you okay and i feel like this is going to be a really good balance for you guys because for some of you who are very introverted i feel like it's very it's going to be a really good balance for you guys it's going to be the, the scales are being balanced and you're going to have a really really good time with this person you can also meet this person at a party or at a work group or like a christmas party and that's when you start yeah that's when you start being in a relationship with this person or your love life starts to pick up so i do feel like with this goddess card there's a pink unicorn and a blue unicorn and i feel like that's to do with twin flames and soulmates you know i don't normally i don't normally say about twin flames but i do feel like if you are looking for your twin flame um, or you're more connected with your twin flame. I do feel that's very very accurate for some of you who are wanting a soulmate a life partner I do sense that this person is going to have all the qualities that you really really want and they're going to help you to be you Okay, I love this. This is such a beautiful message. Oh, can't make me cry this person is going to help you to 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 be who you really are They're going to help you to become more happy with who you are and more comfortable with being yourself they're not going to restrict you they're not going to stop you from being who you are they're going to really kind of comfort you and love you and understand who you are and they're not going to stop you from being who you are and you're both going to love the same things which is amazing i love that so much okay so uh star signs i'm hearing pisces taurus leo sag aries libra gemini possibly aquarius and i'm getting one did i say taurus in Taurus yeah that's what I'm getting so thank you so much for watching guys if you like this video don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up comment down below and subscribe also uh, click that bell to get notified when I upload and when I do lives also I do all my readings are uh, all my reading options are down below so if you'd like to get a private reading you can email me or Instagram message me also if it didn't resonate or you didn't really like this video then you can obviously uh, never watch this video again <laughs> or you can choose another group um, or just let it fly. So thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye.